back here on the show. This is, uh, we are uh, very privileged here now because this is the last uh, interview of the whole year, Hildegard. And we've got Jay Edwards uh, joining us again. What's going on, y'all? How are ya? So it's, nice to see you again, it's Jay. Good. It's awesome it's we get these mics going in the room, eh, Jay? Yeah, no, this is, this is a teeny little amphitheater. I was like, you know, well, your old place on Bartley became quite a home away from home for me one point last year yeah. and i'm like and this is you know my ret- my return of sorts and uh i'm like holy crap they got me a practice amphitheater that was sweet of them to do for christmas yeah this is <laughs> if that was a home away from home this is a home right near your home because you're just exactly. around the corner right and yeah. here we are yeah yeah i can i can i can drop by and, and, and grandstand all over you guys anytime you guys want. <laughs> Listen, it's so good to hear from you again and have you here. You have your movie, Complete Present to Love, the J. Edwards story. Tell us a little bit what's happening in your life. You look totally different, actually, than last time I saw you. Thank you. I barely recognize I you standing down there with your beautiful hat on today. What's up? What's I new? Feel I, f- I feel reborn and I did it through the eye of the needle because... Um, when you guys last saw me, um, I was really being sourced by, you know, a gentle, loving community of people helping me heal from alcoholism. And uh, then <coughs> I had to, this year has been all about sort of handling the practical fallout from that. Mm. Um, I needed to, um, deal with my housing situation and be healthy. I was held to account for um, the impact of various behaviors that had happened um, and their impact on the actual community of brain-injured folks that live in my housing situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I ultimately had... They tell me I chose. I was given, you know... Uh, the option of shape up or ship out. Um, uh, So I had to choose to ship out, and I'm now on a a one-and-a-half-year deal to get out of there. But, um, yeah, there's been shake up with my housing and and so forth um and my finances have been all over the map trying to um appease that whole system um so um and my and my emotions have kind of take it, taken a circular turn they were really shaky at one point this year and now I'm awesome again all you need is a massage. Well, you had a big Jay. health thing going on this Clearly. year as well, right? I've Maybe there are people out there that don't things. know your story, but you have been through a lot medically yeah. as well. Yeah, while I was handling all the um, the housing stuff and the finances stuff, I also had um, what what I, I just casually refer, like people know what the hell it is, to, to as a shunt revision. Um, I have... A, a, neurological condition called hydrocephalus i hemorrhaged at 12 hours old uh there's a blood clot in my brain there is an apparatus called a ventricular peritoneal shunt that circumvents that blood clot and drains the brain fluid around it into my peritoneal cavity in my stomach that uh experienced a major blockage back in july and what happened? Did you have to go to the hospital um, or something? So, yeah, I had to go to um, Saga Trillium, where the designated neurosurge team is. And this time I was on a waiting list for – because it's a, it's not like a brain tumor. It's, it's not a, a critical surgery. Right. So uh, I was on a waiting list for about three weeks, during which time um, – you know, I was able to uh, be care be cared for somewhat. Um, like we out of c- out of commission kind of thing. I, like but yeah, uh, I, w- I, well, I, w- I was I kept I kept soldiering on because mm-hmm. I was kind of pissy about like, uh, and I could I I couldn't be home because my my parents were preoccupied and um, so I was sh- just like. Um, Dealing with, dealing with it um, as best I could, um, you know, with with no better than emergency supports, mm-hmm. and um, ultimately, I you know, 
went in for the surgery and um, got my mental clarity back, which had evidently, I realized after the fact, been waning for about five months, uh, compounded by the neurological breakdown. So um, got my neurological clarity back um, and have learned how to refocus my emotions because my emotions were starting to trigger uh, alcohol relapses like once a week, which didn't help in me taking it seriously. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. um, you know, but yeah, no, I'm ending this year sober with a new record coming out. Um, and uh, the movie has – I've been in possession of the movie since February. Have you had a, a screening, proper screening of it? Uh, we haven't. Because um, we're set up now. You can see we're set up, Jay. Yeah. No, this is, this is badass. This, this space was uh, promised to me, I think, back in September we had that conversation. Yeah. yeah. And um, – the new year, man. The new year. Um, because there are lovely people coalescing around the record right now, and I'm writing it with about half a dozen great singer-songwriters from around Toronto. So you're still working on it? I'm still working on it. Still, we're about um, four tracks, four, four new tracks into it, um, along with um, a three-minute and 55-second slicked-up fat, danceable backbeat version of a, of present to love really? which is um my first single off of my first record that you guys heard and been so supportive of so um so yeah that's out on soundcloud now it's the the pop version of present to love oh yeah with yeah the, with the backbeat yeah so with the on soundcloud let's I don't know, maybe we can try to get that for the end, after you sing live. But you also had a plan to perform for us today. Are we still on for uh, that? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 that's, that's totally happening. Okay, um, just give us a couple minutes first before we do that, Jay, because we're going to yep. pull up that. We're gonna so tell us about that. the creation of this song that you're going to perform, because it's okay. just fresh off the press, right? Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy, because uh, um, I've been just doing uh, writing sessions at people's houses and studios and in coffee shops. And um, um, an acquaintance of mine, Melanie Peterson, who I'd only seen live once. I know her. Um, and Melanie um, just invited me to hers and her partner's home. And we just hung out and had coffee and... Um, did it one line at a time, and usually how I come up with a concept, and the concept suggests the first verse, and the first verse suggests the chorus, and it, it, it puts itself together in chunks. This one we did in, like, lines and stanzas. What was the first line? Like, what was the first burst of inspiration from that one? Um, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> what did she say? Me I met her on a frantic Monday. It, 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 this song is very much a c s the lyrics fell out of the melody. Mm -hmm. um, the 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 verses are very uh, doo wop, and then the uh, chorus is sort of old school country. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's sort of I compare it to Paul Weller uh, from the Jam, his solo stuff. It's right. Our favorite uh, chops. Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, <laughs> fair enough, mate. Now, my family's from Liverpool. If you want me to go there, I'll fucking go there, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, no. Uh, so in your creation, is it generally that the lyrics come first or does the word come yeah, first? Yeah, usually, How does it work usually, for you? usually I get a concept and the concept suggests the first verse and the first verse will suggest the chorus and then the chorus will suggest the other two verses. Um, but this was um, written, as I said, line by line, stanza by stanza. And um, 
it's got two different melodies from two different genres and um it, it's incredibly catchy and the other side note about this this was written on Wednesday night and I on Thursday night met a woman coming out of the subway who said she liked my hat and told me I was attractive and next thing you know we're walking towards the venue I had to be at last night um, and you now know, she's having your baby canoodling and, ca- canoodling and carrying on I have no idea if there's going to be a second we this, this very we hat you brought we're not today. sure if there's going to be a second date yet but yes <laughs> um, <laughs> I gotta get me a hat like that I was just going to say show it off Jay just for somebody out there who is in need of finding a partner for Christmas and New Year's celebration. There it is. That's the magic hat that brought you your yes, partner. Yes, this, 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 this is the girlfriend getting the hat, boys. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, rock and roll, right? The universe provides. So, um, yeah, no, this, this one is uh, for a woman named Jacqueline Mackay. Um, the woman I met last night, and um, it's called There's a Light On in My Heart. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now? We're ready to do that? what we're going to do in just a second. Okay, man, okay. yeah, because uh, Jay's going to go over to the other mic, right, Jay? Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to get the cameras rolling. It's going to be awesome, man. So, yeah, we got that other mic set up for you over there, so uh, we can just... Uh, Okay, cool. All right, man. Whenever you, anything you down for, you know that I'm down for. <laughs> All right, man. Um, so this is um, a song called There's a Light On In My Heart. Um, yeah. I met her on a frantic Monday. I was running to get out of the rain. She had an umbrella built for two. And my heart will never be the same. There's a light on in my heart. She's like a work of art. There's a light on in my heart. And the trials of time will never tear us apart. I walked her home, she spoke her mind. She said the light was shining from my eyes. And when I ran my fingers through her hair, that's when I suddenly realized there's a light on in my heart. She's like a work of art. There's a light on in my heart. And the trials of time will never tear us apart. Now that she's near, it all seems so clear. I was meant to be here. I was meant to be here. There's a light on in my heart. She is like a work of art. There's a light on in my heart. And the trials of time will never tear us apart. She's a light on in my heart. Yeah, she's like a work of art. Yeah, there's a light on in my heart. And the trials of time will never tear us apart. Thanks, y'all. 
Thank you so much, Jay. <laughs> what a beautiful sound. What a beautiful lyrics. This is Christmas time. It's all about light. It's all about compassion, love. It's all about bringing people together and everybody feeling at home. And I think that's what my music is about. Is It offers humanity a way of being at home together. Whoa. But it is, kind of. I mean... You know, that's what rock and roll is for. There's nothing more communal than 16,000 people singing a chorus. So, you know. Now, where can people see you perform? Because you have gigs around Toronto all the time. Um, where is your next event? Sunday night. Uh, it's actually our Christmas party thing. Um, there is a brilliant curated open stage at 268 Augusta Avenue. Um, Which one is that? The uh, Kensington Market supermarket at the supermarket. Yes. That's, so that's this Sunday. That, that's this Sunday, and that's their like Christmas shindig. And, nice. And I'll be, uh, you know, pulling out some goodies and probably doing a blues jam or two. And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a ripper. So come on out and kick up your heels with us. No, are you going to have a band there? Or are you going to use, uh, is Tony still playing the drums? Uh, we might use Tony. There's uh, another dude named Zach Marsh who's sort of like the heir apparent to Tony now. Right on. And um, yeah, um, he, I play with a guy named Rich Fairthorn uh, on okay. piano. Yeah. And um, yeah, I have no idea what it's actually going to look like till I get there, but uh, the players are killer, and uh, it's like it's like Woodstock for free, folks. So come yeah. on down. <laughs> well, that's it's uh, that's great, Jay. Now, when is the album going to be out? Do you think uh, the the album will probably be summer of next year? Um, okay. By the time by the time we get it cut and figure out where it's where it's going to first. All right. So. Um, and the movie, you, Mike, and, I, you and I will talk about a screen. Right. Yeah, we, we <laughs> can do it here, which would be awesome. And we got the band uh, stage here, so we could even get some live uh, music going on at the same time, which would be totally fantastic. That would be s that would be sweet. The more the merrier, man. Always. So I think uh, what we'll do, we got your website up there, or, or at least your YouTube site, where people can go and check out your music. I think do we have that new version of uh, of Present to Love? Yeah, we got it ready to go. Is this the new version, Jay? That, yeah, uh, this is. This yeah. is uh, it's on your SoundCloud, but I hope it's the new uh, backing yeah, no, version. Yeah, this is this is produced by a guy named Sam Arion, who is the guitarist for a band called Modern Space, who were signed to Warner Music. So this is the slick commercial version that's going to take the world by storm. This guys. is great. I'm really looking forward to this. And I just want to say, Jay, thanks for coming in here and being our uh, finale guest of of the year 2015 and we're looking forward to a fantastic 2016 hey thanks for giving me a chance to debut the new record man you guys have been family to me so well thank merry you merry christmas y'all thank you and uh hildegard it's been a great uh it's been a great year thank you so much and i look forward to more interesting adventures next year more and better and that's happy our holidays happy holidays merry christmas happy All new the very year best. Uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, everything this past year. And uh, we'll see you all in 2016. Have a great uh, holiday. First show is when? January. You know, on the January Friday. January 4th? Are we going to start Friday? We don't know yet. Friday. You and I on a Friday. Okay, we'll so that would be the 8th of January. We we'll look forward yeah, to Yeah, something like that. Kicking it off then? Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So here's Jay. Jay Edwards, present to love the new pop version with the backbeat. We'll see you all in 2016, everybody. Have a great one. Walk in the rain As I slide down the hall As I feel like I'm everything And nothing at all As I coast on the highway As I fly through the clouds As I feel like I'm silent While screaming out loud Night, it closes slowly It's right to my heart The energy's never far apart Present to love Present to time Present to all that's caught in our minds Present to peace Not the pieces of the pie Present to 
As I walk beside you, would you reach out your hand? If I was lost, would you help me understand? Cause we are walking on a broken path. And we know our days will not last. And the night it softly tells me this is everything we are. Far apart. 